Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kamos and I will be casting this one versus one between me, Kamos, spawning here as uh, an orange Terran and my opponent, Sir Figaro, spawning in blue trunks over here. Uh, the map will be Metanopolis on recent patch and I hope this will be exciting and very interesting match, TVT to be exact. Yes, so a little bit of chit chat on the uh, main chat over there, but nothing mm, in particular uh, important. We're talking just about uh, the new game, the new new game forever. Uh, yes, so uh, standard opening with supply depot at 10 uh, for both sides, and the same number of SCVs. Uh, my friend got a little better timing with SCV, just two seconds, no big deal. But as you can say, uh, in the small battles you win. If you win a small battles, you will win entire match. So yes, here's my scout going outside um, in order to find my enemy. And this time he's going the wrong way. But this really isn't as much important as things going inside base. Uh, my op my friend taking in the same time guess as me, building more SCVs, a little bit stop on my side because I built barracks. I think a little bit too early, but again nothing too much uh, important. Yeah, standard opening refinery at 15. Uh, my friend putting all three SCVs uh, to guess and I'm putting also free. So it's pretty standard, orbital command on 16, first marine popping out. My SCV still don't know where my opponent is. Uh, and my friend also didn't even uh, check where I am. But soon he will know. Yeah, so first marine popping out, uh, another supply depot building for me, a first mule dropping down for me and my friend good timing everything look everything looks okay here comes my scv checking what's up think like oh dude stop shooting me and here he goes i could micro him a little bit better and just kite marine around and maybe go out and here's a little bit difference my front building factory and i'm building second barracks and this is the first uh different uh difference in our build because I pre prefer to build more marines and murders than tanks and my friend in opposite he likes to build more tanks than marines so tech lab for both sides I'm researching steam very fast my money is going high probably for expansion uh, my friend's uh, money also going high yeah and here he goes expansion yes uh, so my friend also having a lot of money but as you can see and you can think he will put uh, and invest those money in tanks and here comes also a spa starport with tech, tech lab and reactor for marines in my side in my camp uh, i'm not harvesting gas i only want 100 gas for steampunk and then i stopped and then when i started building command center i uh, think i now it's a good time to take up so uh, building another refinery uh, putting all SCVs here, building engineering bay and going on. Building for me only marines, my friend as you can see ending building uh, starport, building his first tank with uh, with uh, siege tank tech uh, seconds, okay busy. Uh, yes, building marines, a lot of marines, second refinery is up to up to go, almost supply blocking himself but here he goes free supply bl uh, depots. It's not a good idea to stack them up, but okay. Pretty smart move from his side, building a um, supply depot here in the cloud in the gas, so we can see even some dropouts coming from there. I forgot about those, and I don't build bots. I build a missile turret because I thought, okay, I'm pretty vulnerable at the beginning to any kind of drops, especially from this side. So I'll build uh, one missile turret here and I think second there. 
my, my marines counting there, seeing a big army coming here. And here he goes. And pushing up with those force, taking control of Xelnaga Watchtower, uh, finding me. It was obvious I was here if I wasn't there or there. It's obvious that I am here. I was prepared for that attack, finished my second uh, orbital command, but I know I, it's not now too uh, safe to build, uh, to land over here and start expanding. Building another, building a factory because I saw tanks, I know I was behind in attack, using Banshee to harass me and see the high ground, sieging da tank the downstairs. I thought, okay, it's good time to expand because he's attacking me over there, using my marines to kite uh, and finish off the Banshee, however, she was very lucky and ran away. Tank doing uh, splash damage over there in the high ground, but uh, now he don't have sight because of the Banshee. Building second missile turret here, if eventual Banshee want to come here, I would snipe them out. out. Uh, building more stuff, my friends taking up, also building an expansion. Now supply blocking himself, good for me. And here comes my counter attack. However, it go entirely under the siege tank, so it wasn't very good attack, very smart move. And here's the counter push with a few marines. Those missile turrets will destroy this uh, medivac, destroying my missile turret, destroying my SCV, almost destroying my factory. And here I take a few of my SCVs to take push back those marines, cleaning them up pretty nicely, taking back a civis to mine, uh, taking this expansion almost in full, uh, no, rarely saturated. Uh, however, I was so confused a little bit and so stressed about all this uh, containment here, so I didn't look up very good for my economy, but still building everything. Uh, Finish up the factory. Now I should start and building a starport soon. First building a missile turret again. Building another barracks. I know I need a bigger army. Uh, my friends reinforcements still coming here. Few marines, tanks. Building more barracks. A good smart uh, move from here, from his side. Building more medivacs. Still harass me a little bit with those ban with this banshee, and he will lose it. Uh, so he's, he doesn't have any vision now. I, I could use that and counterattack from here, but I thought he was got some other banshees, and I was right in some uh, in some way because he's got medivac, building a starport, more barracks, uh, upgrading as crazy as you can see because I got a lot of money and I don't know what to do with them. Uh, uh, here putting some pressure on me with these drops. Uh, I forgot on. I forgot about building here uh, missile turrets, cleaning up almost, taking two marines, uh, more going here, these SCVs don't mind anything because, well, hell, why not? I've f ordered them to attack those marines because, um, why not? It's, I was I get surrounded about them, so it's not, bug not that big deal. Dropping here, killing more, mo more of my marines, almost losing these marines. Losing this SCV, as you can see in resources unit lost, I've lot, I lost a lot more than um, my opponent. And, uh, and also you can see here, where is it? Control error. I lost 16 workers now, so it's a lot. But I've got early expansion, he's mm, taking up this containment even more, building more siege tanks, more siege tank in the way. Yep, more, two more. Uh, changing this starport to normal ground. I build a Hellion just to see what's up, how many tanks he's got. He's got one, b taking one tank to high ground. Uh, it's a little bit messy, but I've got... I, I don't have any money, as you can see. Oh, I forgot about the stops. As you can see, we are almost even in, uh, in food. Now I lost about 15 food using this factory for scouting because it's hell. It's, it's got a lot of health, so it's good for scouting, especially in the situations like that. Uh, reinforcement a little, taking some reinforcements here, building more, almost losing a bunker, uh, dropping some marauders on high ground for to the tank, so the splash damage will kill also my tank, 
now taking counter because I know he don't have any siege tanks on the high ground. Uh, killing this, killing nothing, just poking up and back, poking up and back, losing this uh, bunker, but I don't really care. Uh, building more stuff, yep, from a lot of, from four racks. Uh, no taking up, my friend just taking his team pack. It's, uh, if he had uh, researched that earlier, I would be in a deep, uh, <laughs> you know what, uh, in a deep hole, I can say, yes. Supply blocking myself. Uh, I was so stressed that I had thought, okay, the only thing I had to l uh, had left to do is counterattack, but not in the front, but from just the back. So I use my all whole army, which I had, and I just take them here and then take them up here. Uh, and I hope that my friend didn't attack me when I'm doing this. Uh, yes, he's reinforcing this a lot with a lot of uh, barracks, a lot of marines. Uh, here comes another drop, losing a lot of uh, CVs again, uh, killing few uh, f few marines. Uh, but still, I don't have any soldiers here, as you can see. So it was a very risky from my side. But my friend taking away, running away, he don't know about this whole army standing here. Uh, taking his medivac over there. Uh, I'm still building more unit stuff, and he's now uh, he's now uh, going to uh, uh, to attack from the front, from the main door. He'll be knocking. But <laughs> here comes my counter attack in the perfect time, destroying one barracks, destroying a lot of SCVs. It's a little bit of revenge from my SCVs from back, destroying this orbital command. Uh, destroying everything what he had, expansion, his expansion is now lost, he's taking his army back, he should base race me, he would win, but okay, I don't care, uh, it was lucky for me because he took my army, I have time to reinforce this whole army and k kill and take off guard everything he had, all the, his tanks, all his stuff, destroying even his free barracks and uh, orbital command, so it was very Oh, destroying this Manx statue. Uh, destroying this orbital command was a very great success for me because he lost an expansion, he lost an income, and he lost a bunch of SCVs. I still lost 30 more, but that's not big. No, it's, it's a big deal, but you know, it's a better than nothing uh, compared to zero. Now I he lost five of them and expansion. So what's up here in my base? Reinf building some stuff, building some uh, units. Building more SCVs again because I lot of a lot of them. This helium will go down eventually. Yes, it goes. Taking this few ro la last units over there just to stand, hang around. And but here comes Scan, and here goes his entire army. And here's go. Oh, even the strength is helium. Good idea. Taking SCVs in an army, as you know, SCV is the most powerful unit in the game. So. Uh, it's always uh, good to have few units, uh, a few SCVs with your army. <laughs> so yes, uh, having here some stuff here for eventual drops. Uh, main of my, my main force is over there. Uh, bringing this SCV to hide an expansion because I know I need to expand pretty fast because I'm almost mined out everywhere, and I want to take an advantage of that. My friend lost uh, an expansion here, so it's a little bit of hide an expansion over there. My friend moving out, as you can see from supply, he's a little bit, uh, he's got a little more supply than I do. I'm putting this marauder over there, almost losing this uh, factory, uh, putting all my stuff over here, trying to destroy these tanks. It wasn't a good, uh, a good thing, but I killed his tanks. That's one plus, one plus only. Uh, having few units still over there, I could attack again this and destroy with pretty easily. Uh, yeah, pretty easily I could destroy it. Uh, yes, as you can see, my friend just taking up from uh, Terran internally level one. I've already got one one uh, because I got a lot of um, minerals and gas in the beginning. As now here comes his ca his attack. I counter here. He tried to bunker contain me, but he didn't know. How I've got few forces here and main force over there counting this all. Countering this all, I mean, sorry. Yeah, and cleaning this up pretty nicely, no big deal. 
uh, building at finishing building this uh, command center uh, yes reinforcing a little bit I thought okay I need to back up for a little bit I've got this expansion he didn't know about I'll be a good shape now because I break out from this containment over there so it's pretty okay as you can see from unit lost we are now even I even if even if supply and even in resource tab still I've got uh, units still I've got le oh uh, now I've got more SCVs but I lost a lot more uh, SCV than my friend uh, to about 25 more 26 into uh, 28 to be exact I thought okay it's a good time to move out repairing this factory earlier and taking out my forces and going down building another uh, expansion over there uh, changing it to orbital command uh, mo and moving forward to destroy my friend but however I didn't know about the siege line over there and I and I s when I saw the shelling I just fit uh, I just realized okay it's time to back up it's not a good idea to go there here comes my friend's drop uh, it is what I was talking about earlier I should build a missile turret over there or a uh, supply depot but I forgot about that losing more SCVs uh, but in this time I really don't care about them because I've got two expansions more than my friend and I I could uh, lose them because I it will be it will be pretty easily and pretty fast way to build them again building missile turret somewhere uh, oh here destroying this medivac with a bunch of st bunch of stuff inside building more barracks as you can see my money is now low not as low as it should be but it's lower than it was having now a huge almost a huge uh, food supply uh, advantage as you can see my army is pretty big and pretty fat uh, my friend using four of his marines to destroy this factory however four marines are nothing compared to mm, the factory uh, his, ar his army is uh, quite nice he's got uh, a bunch of marines few tanks however he don't have even a uh, combat shield which is a big deal comparison to my uh, my marines they've got plus one and plus one so uh, his plus one is nothing uh, it's reduced by this armor and I've got more health so it's very good uh, mining from over these two expansions I think he know about them yep he know about one uh, but he didn't know about that one now but even if I lost them uh, the income from these mules it's it will be uh, it will cover the expensive uh, the, mm, the cost what I had to build them uh, yes taking this medivac to drop over there uh, he didn't realize I, I've got here an expansion but then whoa the medivac will come here and spot it uh, so what's going in my camp now transferring some SCVs I didn't know about that drop so I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't mm, mm, God damn it! I lost the, so the word uh, conscious about unconscious uh, never mind uh, about the drop he tried to use this marine to scout over here but I think he mari this marine is from the drop uh, he was just running all the map around He's like a marathonist yes so I thought okay it's a good time to push out push out uh, in the same time he's uh, destroying my expansion over there I'm destroying his tanks I caught them off guard no siege mode killing all his stuff on steam uh, killing all his uh, marines all tanks again coming here uh, cleaning this up and uh, now taking up to the barracks uh, yes and in the meantime his force are destroying my both of uh, uh, hidden expos but I don't care because look how many food I've got more than my friend almost more it's more than twice now destroying everything destroying this engineering bay it's how you can, how you can see um, try to guess I will pass try to guess will I destroy this engineering bay before the upgrade finish or after it's a great question try to answer it are you ready okay let's see if you were right destroying both of his or uh, both uh, all of his buildings uh, destroying as a lonely SCV and what will you see will it finish or will it not and the answer is what will you think I won't tell you Destroying in the meantime, destroying this uh, medivac and this no medivac, destroying this barracks. And what will you, what 
and did it uh, did it um, did it have been um, finished or not? I will give five bucks for anyone who will tell me. And the answer is yes, it's finished. Unluckily for me, uh, coming here, destroying uh, the last of, uh, last of his forces. In the meantime, he's oh, and here comes GG, and that's all. Uh, yes, that's all. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I'll make some few more videos in the nearly future. And I'm sorry for my bad language, of course. Uh, yes, and sorry for not being as much exciting as I could be. And I'll see you guys next time.